What's up everybody and welcome back to Freak Eating. A day after tackling the Grim Reaper Fritters, I decided to cool off and check out Multnomah Falls. Truly scenic AF. The waterfall is breathtaking, beautiful, and only 30 miles from downtown Portland. Definitely worth checking out if you're into the great outdoors, or nature. But that evening we were back down to business. No fanfare, no BS, no stalling. It was time for the 72 ounce steak challenge. Sailors has one of the more famous big steak challenges in the United States. It's pretty much up there with the Big Texan. Molly Schuyler holds the record for devouring one of these challenges here at Sailors. The big sirloin steak cannot be cooked above medium rare for the challenge and it comes with several sides, which are one slice of bread, two celery sticks, two carrot sticks, two olives, two slices of dill pickle, one regular sized salad, one cup of tea, 10 french fries, and one dish of ice cream. They like their numbers. I got Spumani flavored ice cream. You can also get a baked potato in place of the 10 french fries, but I told myself that the 10 french fry option is so offbeat that I had to go for it. Plus, I figured that a little bit of grease would help be a nice change of pace from all the steak. So, the challenge costs $70, $70 if you fail, but winners who finish the meal in 60 minutes or less get a full refund and a champion's t-shirt. You can also add yourself to the number board that counts up the number of winners and losers of the challenge. They still separate it by gender though. If you love top sirloin steak, this just might be the challenge for you. They don't butterfly cut the steak like other challenge restaurants do, so it's served it's served to you as a thick cut of beef on a dinner plate. It looks serious and it looks heavy. But thankfully it's also delicious, juicy, and full of smoky flavor with a hint of spice rub. Vegans won't approve of this challenge by any means at all. I struggled trying to cut up the massive cut of beef with my fork and knife, so I switched to eating with my hands, which I suppose is a faux pas in some dining quarters. There's little point in decorum and neatness when you're aiming for a speeding record, but I merely hope to finish inside of the hour. It's just hard to eat steak with a fork and knife when it's hard to cut. I'm not sure I got the meat sweats, but there were definitely a few points where I got tired of eating meat. So I broke it up as best I could with the sides, and I look forward to my dessert. The challenge is unique in that the server brings out your sides before the steak comes out, and you actually have the option of eating your sides before you get the steak. The timer starts when you get the steak on that first bite. I chose to eat everything together, but the option is always there. So I mean, if you want to strategize that way, you would technically get more time overall if you ate your sides, and then you'd have 60 minutes for this, just the steak. My friend Aaron from Aaron's Food Adventures came to hang out in the middle of the challenge. It's always nice to see a familiar face when you're traveling and eating far away from home. We chatted about his job and his day at work as I continued to chew the fat. From this vantage point, that ice cream dish, that dish of ice cream seems so satisfying. That was, that was the field goal. That was the, the goal here. Yeah. Another question. Is that sour cream? It is, and you oh, don't okay. have to eat it if you don't want to. Oh, it's good. I like the it. The butter and the sour cream are optional. Everything else oh, is good. Oh, okay. it's good. I like it. Okay. <laughs> These are really good. I'm excited. So while we see if I can finish this big steak, I'll share a bit of a channel update. I'm working through the remainder of the restaurant challenge videos that I have in my video archives, but I eventually want to switch away from the man vs food parody style that I've been using these past few years. I'm not exactly what direction I want to go in, but I would like to move into a more interactive and humorous style. But before I can get there, I need to edit through about 20 videos, so here's to the future.
was watching the, the massacre here. Oh, good. Good, Have you been? Good, good. Well, okay. I'm just curious. I mean, how much it is? Let me go. Let me go. You're almost there. It needs to be eaten. With grizzle. There's nothing left but fat and grizzle. Did you get the baked potato? Did you get the eight fries? What was the fries? That was kind of a unique thing. So it really was like eight fries and eight fries. It's ten. Ten. Ten fries. Excuse me, did Molly do the ten? I don't, I don't remember. I honestly don't know. I think she took the potato. I think. The ten fries is so ridiculous. She took the fries, I know. I got to the hotel, I just stopped at another McDonald's to get another shit. Awesome. Awesome. All right, thank you very much. And we only have two of those. Oh, that's fine. Oh, oh, sure, no problem. And then um, if we want to come up here too, they can um, film you with the, like if you want to do it on your phone or oh, do you want yeah. them announcing that you did it on your Yeah, that would be cool. Because they're going to announce it over the whole speaker, so oh. you need to put your name up here and stuff too. Oh, that would be cool. And you can leave your stuff here for a second if you okay. like. Okay. Okay. And boom goes the dynamite. I conquered the 72 ounce steak dinner with plenty of time to spare. I didn't threaten anyone's records, but I enjoyed a memorable meal. I'd wanted to get to this challenge at Sailors for about a decade. Okay, have your attention, Matter on the old side completed the 72 ounce steak challenge in 39 minutes. Woo! Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. So it was nice to cross this one off the bucket list. Perfect. Nice job. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button and then smash that subscribe button so you never miss a new freak eating video. And then make sure to clang that bell icon to get all those nifty notifications. And I'll see you all in the next one. Until we do it again, stay in school, don't do drugs, and eat like a freak.